Hi friends, I'm here with the yoga offering. As always, please go at your own pace, rest whenever you need to, and feel free to skip things or change things if they're not working for you today. Let's begin on our backs. You can come into a symmetrical, relaxed position. Go ahead and spread out. <clears throat> I mean, either close your eyes or take a soft gaze up towards the ceiling. <sighs> and allow yourself the time it takes to arrive. <sighs> Feeling where your body is touching the floor. Feeling that you are breathing. And as much as you can, opening up to what's here. Whatever you're noticing, whatever you're feeling. Welcome to keep your eyes closed or open them as it's useful for you throughout your practice. Let's begin <clears throat> by taking the right arm overhead and stretching through just the right side of the body. So engaging the right arm and leg, reaching through fingers and toes, but see if you can still soften and let go through the left. It's pretty challenging to isolate tension in one side, but do your best. Lengthening as you inhale, letting go a little bit more as you exhale. Right side engaged and active, left side soft and easy. And then release, slide the right arm down, maybe kind of relax that right side a little bit more, shake it out. And then take the left arm overhead and reach long through just the left side. Can you still relax right hand, right foot, right arm and leg, but left side engaged, active, reaching. Just as much as you can. And then release both arms and legs down, totally relaxed. And then reach both arms overhead, whole full body yawn, stretch out. Mm. And then go ahead and roll onto one side. So you can have your top hand on the floor to help support you, but your whole body in a straight long line. So toes pointed, bottom arm extended, everything lengthened, top hand on the floor to start with a little support. Now squeeze the legs together and lift them up. Reaching legs long and out like you're trying to shoot your legs across the room. A strong core, relaxed face, breath deep. And then release the legs down. Now we're gonna lift the legs and the bottom arm. Not too high, but really long. Out through fingers and toes, out through the top of the head, long through the tailbone, strong core. Last breath. And then release. Now take both arms overhead, press the arms and legs together, and reach out to come up. Flounder pose. So each little flop is making you stronger. Core stabilizing muscles. Squeezing legs and arms together and out. And then release down. Let's bend the bottom arm, hand to your head, and flex your feet. 
So now I'll try and balance without the use of your top arm and bring the top leg up like tree. So sole of the foot as high as you can on your inner leg. So this is a balancing pose, even though there's a lot touching the floor. Try and bring everything into the midline and see if you can do this without having to use your hand. You can always bring your hand down if you need it, but trying to bring everything into a straight long line. So hips coming in, knee opening up. And then reach your hand on the inside for your big toe and you can extend your leg whatever amount straight you're able. So it could be just a little bit straight or part way or all the way. Keep bringing everything into the midline. I get quite wobbly here, so you might be wobbly as well. Can your breath be steady and face relaxed while you're wobbling? And then release, hand to the floor, lower your straight leg until it's about six inches off the floor. Reach out through your heel and toes up towards your head. So you're splitting your legs as wide as they'll go. Pressing out through the heel, toes up to the head. Last breath here. And then release, drop your foot to the floor where it is. Hand that was on your head reaches for the foot. You might grab your foot, you might need to use a strap, you could bend your knee or hold the calf instead. And then open your top arm out. Dropping down through your hip, rolling open through your shoulder. Now, if you want to add a quad stretch to this, your free hand can reach for your free foot. You might need to lift the torso for a moment in order to grab hold. And then once you have hold, drop your torso back down. And then release, roll back onto your back. Bring your knees in and take a little circle or rock with your knees. Bring your legs up and give them a good shake out, letting all of that go. And then we'll spread out and roll onto the other side. So starting with the Toes pointed, bottom arm extended, and the top hand on the floor for a little bit of balance. Squeeze the legs together and up. Inner legs squeezing towards one another, feet reaching long, breath deep. And then release your legs down. Now lift the bottom arm. Legs up. Arm reaching out, head reaching out, strong core. Release down, take the top arm overhead. Now arms and legs squeeze together and up, flounder pose. <sighs> And release. Let's bend the bottom arm, hand to your head, flex your feet, and that'll help with balance now that you're not using your top arm. Bring the top leg like tree, as high as you can. Knee open, hips into the midline. Imagine doing this pose in a very narrow corridor, trying to tuck everything in. Reach your hand on the inside for your big toe and extend whatever amount you're able. So you're working with your body, exploring your limits right where they are. How much presence and ease can you bring to that exploration? Release your hand to the floor. Lower your leg till it's about six inches off the floor. Kick out through your heel, reach through your toes. Splitting the legs as wide as they can. Can you find ease within the effort? Mm. 
And release, drop your foot to the floor where it is. Hand that was on your head reaches for your foot, a strap, your ankle or calf. And then open up through the top arm. Drop down through the top hip. Deep twist. Let's bend the bottom leg. If you did so on the other side, try for a quad stretch. If that doesn't work for you, don't do it. Don't worry about it. Using what's useful, skipping what's not. And then release, roll back onto your back. Bring both knees in, little circle or rock. Unwind the legs up to the ceiling. I'm going to shake out. And let's make our way up. And forward into a plank pose on the forearms. You might measure off your forearms. So they're just shoulder width apart. Have the forearms parallel, shoulders right above the elbows, and then step your feet back and find where the hips feel in line with your head and your heels. So they're neither lifted nor dipping. Can you feel the whole underside lifting up? Thighs, shins, belly, chest, everything lifting. One more breath here. Let's come on to one forearm side plank. So you can keep the feet one in front of the other or stack them one on top of the other. Top arm pulls high. Long neck, whether you're looking down, out, or up. One more breath here. Release and switch. Roll to the other side. Can your breath be steady, face relaxed while you're feeling this, whatever this is? One more breath here. Release. Let's lower all the way down and turn your head to one side and take a little rest. Belly down. Mm. Letting go into the floor. Come on to forearms again for Sphinx pose this time. Elbows right under shoulders. And just see what your options are. You could have your shoulders up by your ears, or you could push into the elbows and lengthen your neck. Go back and forth a few times, just feeling there are choices. And then choose a long neck. Pushing elbows down, lengthening up, open chest. And then lengthen a little further out to come down, turn your head to the other side, letting go. <sighs> head back to neutral, bring your hands under your shoulders now, elbows in. Let's start to lift up for cobra. So this could stay very low. You can take it as gently as you like or push into the hands coming higher, but keeping pubic bone on the floor, elbows in and shoulders down. So just notice if your shoulders lifted, see if you can roll them back and down. Pull your chest forward to come down, head to the other side, let go. Let's 
come back to neutral. Slide hands back so they're now by the rib cage. If you'd rather go back to Sphinx or the first Cobra, you can do either of those if you want to try this. Elbows in. And again, you come up as low or high as feels right. You might take this quite a bit deeper. Cobra can be so gentle, it can be so deep, finding what works. If you'd rather take up dog, you can also scoot your way forward so that hands are now right under shoulders and the knees can come off the floor. Let's release. Come back to downward facing dog. Tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back. And take your time waking up the backs of the legs. You might pedal out your feet a little bit or shift your hips side to side. Taking any movement that helps you get into your body. One more breath here. And then release. Let's drop the knees and come back to child's pose. <sighs> Finding a relaxed position for your shoulders, your neck, your arms. <sighs> Re-establishing ease. <sighs> With arms out in front of you, walk your hands over to the left. And then pull back through your right hip, stretching right side a little bit more. Hmm. Come through center and over to the other side. Pull back through your left hip, stretching the left side a bit more. Come back to center. Lift up through table back through down dog and then walk your hands and feet towards one another and let's hang in ragdoll feet hip width apart parallel you can bend your knees a little or a lot you can take any movement here sway or shake out let and go Bend your knees a little bit more. Slowly roll up, coming all the way up to standing. You can step up to the front of the mat, coming into mountain pose, Tadasana. We'll bring hands together at the heart, standing nice and tall. And let's take a full A-series sun salutation. Inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, fold forward, swan dive down. Inhale, lengthen, part way up. Step or hop back, lower down.
up dog or cobra and back to down dog and let's take five breaths in down dog or any other neutral shape for a good rest feeling where you are deep breath in and out come back through down dog and step or hop your feet forward inhaling flat back exhale fold inhale up to standing exhale arms press down Again, inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. And back to down dog. This time from down dog, take your right leg up to the ceiling. Bend your knee to your chest and start circling this bent right knee. Feeling what's being stirred up as you do. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight. Circle your ankle a couple times, big circles, both directions. Take your leg a little higher and then bring your right knee towards right upper arm. Extend it up and back. Take it across towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Right towards the center of your chest. Extend it up and back. Big step forward. High lunge. Arms up. Settle in, sink low. One more breath here. Tip forward, standing splits. Hands to the floor or to a couple of blocks. We'll do this with hips square. And with the upper body letting go like ragdoll. One more breath. Step back. Warrior one, inhale, arms up. Settle in. Last breath here. Release, make your way to down dog, however you wanna get there. Each transition, move in the way that feels right for you. Take the time you need. From down dog, when you're ready, left leg sweeps up, bend your knee in and start circling this bent left knee. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight. Circle your ankle a few times, big circles. Both directions. Take your leg a little higher and then left knee towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Take it across towards right upper arm. Send it up and back. Right towards the center of your chest. 
extend it up and back. Big step forward. High lunge, arms up. Sink low. One more breath. Tip forward. Standing splits, hands to the floor or to blocks, reaching that right leg straighter, longer, higher. Letting the upper body release. One more breath. Step back. Warrior one, arms up. Settle in. Finding just the right amount of effort and as much ease as you can. One more breath here. Release. Make your way to a good rest. Feeling each moment. In your rest, if it's useful, you might close your eyes. Last breath here. Let's come back through down dog and step or hop your feet forward, inhaling flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Let's take just the right arm up as we inhale. Exhale over for a side bend. The left arm can provide a little support in the way that feels right for you. Big reach out. Reach a little further out to come up. Release down, same thing other side. Reach a little further out to come up. And release down. Let's interlace fingers, press out through the palms. Take your arms up by your ears. Shoulders drop, arms reach straight, and then rise up onto your toes for a little balance. So that could be just a slight lift of the heels, could be coming all the way up or anywhere in between. Staying in balance, start to fold forward. You can bring your hands to your legs wherever they meet. Might be the upper legs, could be lower. Make sure you're not locking your knees or overstretching. And then release, drop your hands, drop your heels, drop your head, let that go. <laughs> Bend your knees, come into chair, Utkatasana, hips low, arms high. One more breath here. Release, fold forward. Inhaling, flat back. Step or hop back, lower down. Up dog or cobra, and back to down dog. Right leg sweeps up, one breath. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up, 
Warrior three, shift forward and find your balance. And you're welcome to modify or adjust this in the way that feels right for you. Any arm position, supporting leg bent or straight. Last breath here. Step back, warrior one, one breath. Release through your movement transition. When you're ready, left leg sweeps up. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up, warrior three. Finding your way, making little adjustments. Noticing as much as you can about what you're doing. Last breath here. Step back, warrior one, and release through any movement transition. Letting go. Deep breath in and out. Come through, down dog, and step or hop your feet forward, inhaling flat back. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, arms up, inhale, chair. Exhale, straighten. Again, inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. Back to down dog. Right leg sweeps up. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Warrior three. From here, rise up to standing. Bring your left knee to your chest and find your balance. Right arm can be out to the side or at the hip. You can stay holding the knee or grab your big toe and extend part way or all the way straight. <sighs> Open your left leg out to the left, just at a slight angle. Bring it back to the front, opposite hand to the outside of the knee or the outside of the foot for a twist. Roll open through the left shoulder, extend the left arm back, sit standing tall. One more breath. Release with the front hand, catch with the back hand. King Dancer, Natra Jasana. Last balance on this side. Kick your foot into your hand. One more breath here. Step back. High lunge. Let's make our way back to down dog. If you would like to take a few handstand swings on your way, you're welcome to place the hands flat and swing the left leg up and down, getting a little air time for your right foot. And you can do as many or few of these as you like. Eventually, Making your way to down dog, however you want to get there. Slow down. 
when you're ready, left leg sweeps up. Step forward, high lunge, arms up. Warrior three, one breath. Rise up to standing. Bring your right knee to your chest. Find your balance. Attending to the details you are aware of. When there's a lot going on in the pose, it's harder to feel the details. So we're expanding our capacity. Open your leg out to the right, just at a slight angle. Checking on things, the things you know to check in on. Bring it to the front, opposite hand to the outside of the knee or the outside of the foot. Roll open through the right shoulder, drop down through the right hip. Hmm. Release with the front hand, catch with the back hand, king dancer, last balance. Step back. Ah, find your balance, find your breath, and then find your way to a good rest. So that could include a few handstand swings. Welcome to do these or not. Whatever you're doing, feel that. Eventually, make your way to a good rest. <sighs> Letting go of everything we've just done, everything we might do. Feeling what's right here. Hmm. Let's come back through down dog and get set up for a pigeon pose on the right side. <coughs> Slide the right knee forward, scoot back through the left leg, help the hips get as low as they'll go. If you wanna add any support under you, you might put a cushion or block or something under your hips. You can also rest your forehead on your hands or a block or the floor. Bring the upper body back up. Take your time. If you have something under your right hip that's in your way, move it so you can lean to the right and then slide the left knee forward. We'll get set up for half hero on the left side. So try and have your left knee pointing straight ahead, left toes pointing straight back. If this feels too tight, you can add props, sit up on something, add a little padding under your left ankle. Lean back onto the hands, tuck the tailbone. Try and open up through the front of the left hip and you can stay on your hands or you can explore coming lower, maybe just to your right elbow, maybe to both elbows, maybe all the way back.
to release, let's lean to the right or roll to the right. Take the pressure off that left leg. Maybe give a little rub to the knee or ankle, working out any tightness from that last pose. And then we'll fold over that straight left leg. You can adjust your right sole of foot to the left inner thigh. Janushirshasana. Hands could be on your foot or a strap or the floor, wherever is most useful. Inhale to look up, exhale, release. Make your way to down dog. Transition in any way that feels useful. Feel whatever it is you're choosing. From down dog, when you're ready, left knee comes forward, scoot back through the right leg. Making whatever adjustment, so you come into your pigeon pose on the left side with as much presence as you can. Take our time slowly. Coming back up again. Mm. If you have something under your left hip in your way, move it out of your way so you can lean to the left. Slide the right knee forward. Setting up for half hero. Adding any support. Taking your time. It's not universally better to go lower. So you're finding the depth that gives you the stretch that feels useful without pain in the knee, without overarching the lower back. And at any moment you might adjust higher or go lower. So you work with the real-time feedback your body's giving you. release. Let's lean to the left or roll to the left. Taking the pressure off that right leg. Straighten it out. Mm, give a little love to your joints, your knee, your ankle, your foot. And then we'll fold over that straight right leg. Janushashasana. You can adjust the left sole of the foot to the right inner thigh. Use your hands however they're best going to support you on your foot, a strap the floor, some combination of those, and go towards length, towards folding. Nice long neck, keep the shoulders away from the ears. Hmm. Mm, let's 
let's release, come up. One more vinyasa, one more movement transition. Mm. Let's come all the way through to sitting. And then take the soles of the feet together. And grab your big toes or your ankles with that grip, lengthen and fold. And elbows could push into the legs to help them open, or if it works better, you might lean into your hands or elbows. Going towards length, towards folding. Let's release, come back up. Keep your right leg more or less how it is. Open the left leg out to the side. And bring the right arm up and over. You can lean onto your left hand or elbow on the inside or outside of that straight leg. Big reach out through the head, through the fingers. And then let your head fall towards the floor and take the top arm out and down until your shoulder pulls down, stretching right side of the neck. Press into the bottom hand to come up and then use that hand to help lift your head, staying nice and relaxed. Same thing, other side, switch the legs. Left arm up and over. Big reach out. And then let your head fall towards the floor. Take the top arm out and down until your shoulder pulls down. Stretching left side of the neck now. Keep your head hanging and relaxed as you push into the bottom hand to come up. Use that hand to lift your head. Both legs wide, Upavishta Konasana, wide angle pose. Try and have your feet and knees pointing straight up. You can start with your hands on the floor behind you to help keep you upright. If that's already enough, just stay here. If you're not at your edge yet, you can lean forward until you find it. And it's not about getting somewhere. It's finding what is the outer shape that brings me into contact with the edges of my flexibility, endurance, strength, understanding. We each have certain areas where we are comfortable, where we're able to be present with, and then beyond that, something else is going on. <laughs> so for me, part of this practice is expanding my comfort zone, expanding my window of tolerance, expanding the situations that I am able to tolerate and be with. And for me, that is also creating a framework that I can apply outside. So here, yeah, I'm meeting my edge. It feels great. I'm pretty open in this way. Out in the world, in my parenting and my life, I am uncomfortable a lot. 
of the time. And so if I can bring that same level of awareness, I'm going to do my best, given what I understand and am capable of doing, and then it's going to be like it is. Sometimes comfortable, sometimes uncomfortable. Can I feel when it's uncomfortable and slow down, tune in, come back to my center, and then greet the moment from that space rather than habitual reactivity, rather than from a place of trigger or fight or flight or um, fear. So this practice for me is leaving breadcrumbs for that. If you did fold, you can make your way back up. Lean back, draw your legs in, shake it out. Let's get set up for a supported fish. You can do this over blocks, blankets, cushions, rolled up yoga mat, foam roller, stack of books with a towel over it, lots of things. Something is going to go behind the upper back, pretty high up, just low enough so your shoulders fall off the end of it, nowhere near the lower back. And depending on how high that thing is, you may want something else supporting your head. If the first thing you try isn't working, try something else. You can go softer, lower for less intensity, higher, harder for more intensity. Arms can be overhead or out to the side. Legs can be bent or straight. And then settle in. Allowing your body to melt over your props. Is there anything to release here? If you're enjoying where you are and want to stay longer, that's always an option. If you're ready to come out of this now, one gentle way of doing so is to interlace your fingers behind your head. Lift your chin to your chest. Take the pressure off your props. Lean to one elbow and move your stuff out of your way. And just take a moment feeling the effect of where you were, feeling how it is now. <sighs> and just check in with your body. What's needed for you to feel complete in this practice? Is there some pose or stretch or movement that would help you let go, help you get ready for your final resting pose. Might be something you were taught, might be something you're making up in this moment. Could be something that's well thought out or just randomly doing it. Doesn't matter as much what you are doing, but it's whatever you're doing, feeling that. Staying present with yourself. Using the next couple minutes to wrap things up in any way, no right or wrong way to do this. Hmm. Each time you finish something, you can just ask again, what's needed now? And 
when nothing else is needed. You can start getting comfortable in your final resting pose. If you want to adjust clothing or grab any props or do a little self-massage, take your time. Eventually coming into a symmetrical, relaxed position. <sighs> can let go of the control of your breath. <sighs> Let go of doing anything. Um. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, gently waking your body up again. <sighs> Let this movement increase gradually through your wrists and ankles, eventually stretching out through your arms and legs. <sighs> when you're ready, bring your knees in roll to one side, pausing there for a moment. And then use your hands to help you up to sitting. And bring hands together at the heart. And just take a moment to silently thank yourself for your practice. And you might let that gratitude expand out to the people and circumstances that make it possible for you to be here. could extend far and wide, maybe even sending gratitude and well wishes to all beings everywhere. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you have a good rest of your day.